we should hail and support the gospel and the philosophy of Dr. King because he believed and was willing to die for peace, love, righteousness, justice, equality, and for freedom. Many ministers are well-meaning, but not well-doing. Well-doing requires action. And anybody willing to march down the streets, call people to act, and take the risk, Reverend Mitchell. Every city has a street name, an avenue named after Dr. King. We don't have that yet. But, but it's coming, though, isn't it? Every little county, they got their own parade now. But these counties, they were afraid. And that's how you know he was a God-sent man. He wasn't afraid of anything. I will be proud to be the mayor of the city council, who at the first meeting in February, I will join a consensus of city council to name West Broad Street in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King. We put him on the program that year for, for the mayor to talk about the things that he was going to do. And in his comments, he decided to espouse the strategy that he developed with the other group. So Reverend Mitchell and I huddled very quickly, and he said, uh, that's not what we talked about. Now, the mayor almost threw something in my cogwheel when he's talking about we're going to get West Broad Street. We didn't ask for West Broad Street. We asked for 37th Street. When Dr. Mitchell stood up in the Civic Center and he called Rosakis out, we were afraid for his life. The fact of the matter, there were threats on his life because he stood up and he went against the machine. There were threatening phone calls, threatening to bomb the house, threatening to get us in the streets. There were upsetting times. And of course, you do what you need to do because you had three children. We understand that in Dr. King's words, that we are interrelated. And what affects you directly affects me indirectly. And I cannot be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. And you cannot be what you ought to be until I am what I ought to be.